Jonathan at the Jonathan Parmon at the factory, and I thought I would just do a quick run through. Um, this is uh, one of our Balance 526 under bill, and a lot of people ask, well, where are you using carbon in the boat? Like, and the key with carbon is to use it in all the really high load areas um, because it helps us keep the weight of the boat down, reduce laminate structures, and make for a stiffer boat in the right places. So I'm just going to let Jonathan talk about some of the carbon in the boat. You can see these black areas here. This is a, a stiffening strake. Yeah, that's, that's uh, it's definitely running right through the <coughs> full length of the boat. I think underneath here, you've probably got about 14 layers of carbon. <coughs> and then that's vacuum foamed and it's gone under vacuum pressure. The carbon you see there is also part of, of the whole structure. So that's really keeping the boat stiff yeah. in, in, in its full length. Beam is, is, is quite a combination of e-gloss and, and carbon fiber reinforced. So across the top, always you, you use carbon fiber on the outside so that you can get the stiffness out of it. So that's why you see it, it's not hidden away. And so that's across the beam. Dagger boards, carbon fiber, just keeping it nice and light and strong. And then you've got a, a band of carbon, you've got six layers running across the back of the boat down into the hulls. And that keeps this whole back section of the boat stiff so it doesn't twist as it's surfing down the way so you don't have the boat doing like the old heavy catch used to do. Yeah, and then when you come in here, uh, you can see that one of the important things on the boat was that we wanted the space between the salon and the aft cockpit to be as open as possible so that when you're sailing with the Versa helm, you have a window that opens up here. You have a sliding door that doubles over so that these two spaces become one. But to achieve that, it was really important that Jonathan could create the structural stability to support the weight of the top and the doors. So that, that stops the boat twisting and it, it makes it really strong. You'll see around the, the door, we do a, a capping a carbon fiber capping around the door, all the way around the frames. On any cutout in the boat, there's carbon fiber. And on areas where it's quite narrow over there, we put a, a carbon band through there, just so that you don't split the boat. Um, so those are the sort of carbon areas. Yeah, as we go further in the boat, you'll see the front member, for where the mast sits on, has a huge carbon band running right through it from corner to corner. Um, I can't remember exactly how many layers there are, there's about 14 layers of carbon running across there. It's been recessed into the foam so it's not sticking out. And then where the mast sits, you have another carbon pillar going down. And then what you can't see right now, if you come a bit closer, you should be able to see some more carbon on the floor. So we create a beam. So you've got carbon fiber, a beam, like that, resting on, I think it's 18 layers of carbon there. Um, and that's where we use it. And then where the mast, which you can't see right now, where the mast actually fits is another carbon construction going on there. What we have in this boat is a daggerboard boat. That's the daggerboard trunking, as we call it, it's the casing where the daggerboard slides in. That's full carbon. Uh, in areas it, it, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker where the loads are. Towards the top they, it's a little bit thinner. So that's a, a full construction. You might be able to just see a beam underneath there. That's the carbon fiber chain plate. Uh, being made off the boat with a bobbin on top for the shrouds to connect to and that's got reinforcing on the hull that gets glued on, laminated over that and that's where the, the shrouds hang on to that's the cap shrouds, the outer ones and this bulkhead here is carrying the inner one there's another, so there's more carbon there uh, you can see some of the door frames, carbon all around one behind me here as well. So wherever there's a, a, a walkthrough, there's carbon fiber. 
if you go across onto the starboard side here, you'll see because there's a big cutout in the door to go through in the owner's side, there's a huge carbon. If you could look on there, you can see the carbon being recessed into the foam. And that's a band running right through with some extra carbon. And then the bobbin gets strapped onto that bulkhead, which is carbon fiber reinforced. Once again, the chain plate on that side and then the uh, starboard dagger boards inside the hull.